All right, it's time to change the couch, the second piece of living room furniture from blue to orange. Hello, so I have a question and I want to answer in the comment section because I'm genuinely curious about something and I think I could use your guys' help. So, when I was a kid, when I was, you know, a young me, <laughs> oh, here's my doggie. But all right, when I was a kid, I always knew where adults were supposed to sit. I always knew where people were supposed to sit and I still to this day, I can usually figure it out when I go to somebody's house. So like for instance, my great grandma, um, I always knew where her spot was because it would always have her like word page book, her cup of coffee, it would have all the things that were encompassing of her on her little table, right? So I knew not to sit right there. And one of my aunties, there's a special spot to the Stacy still alive and with us. Um, she has a chair by her kitchen window and by that chair is her cup of coffee, her pack of cigarettes, the window's always open and she's always smoking. And so Sin talked to you and you have the most amazing conversations as she's sitting in that chair smoking her cigarette and her medicine's right there, which also, common theme with my great grandma is that she'd have her medicine right there too. And like, you just knew where people sat. And still to this day, I'll go to somebody's house, I'll do a scan of the room, and I'll see where their special spot is, and I won't sit there when I'm going to visit their house. Like, I have this amazing friend named Raven, and I know where her spot is because it's got her little setup. You know, it's got her cup to drink out of. It has her candles, it has her cigarettes, it has everything that encompasses her as a person. And I know you ain't sitting there, you know? And I have other friends the same way, you know? You can tell where someone sits and where that's their spot and then where the company's supposed to be. But I think I don't have that. And that's where I need your comment section. That's where I need you to tell me what I'm doing wrong, okay? So this is my spot, obviously. I like to sit here because my dog, who is gigantic, sits right next to me. I wish I angled the camera better that we could see her. Um, it's got my little pillows. If I'm laying back, I can watch a movie out here and just chill. It has my diary. I actually have two diaries right now. This one's the one that's going to be for 2024. This one was 2023, you know? But it usually has just like one diary. So this is the setup. Diary, cup, cell phone, remotes. Um, these are just remotes for the YouTube because that's what... <laughs> I just pushed the button while I was trying to talk to you. Um, but normally, it'll also have my little TV. It has my TV remotes. It has its little setup, right? Now, the thing I love about this little table is it's actually a piano bench, and yes, I need to get scrub. It needs a new paint. It has all my stuff in it as well. You know? It has the things that I need to do in my daily life. If there's paperwork I'm dealing with, if there's anything that I'm doing, it's here. But we have a problem. When people come to visit me, they like to sit here. I don't know if it just looks really comfortable, but I'll have my cup, I'll have my diary, I'll have my phone, I'll have my remotes that I'm currently using, and I'll even have, like, bills out. But people sit here. So I need to know, is am I just being old school? Do people not have little spots that they sit at nowadays? Or do I need to like make it more identically mine? I mean, I don't smoke, so I can't put cigarettes or anything on here. And I don't want to keep my medicine on here, like my allergy meds, because, I mean, there's children at my house. So how can I identify the spot as my own without being rude, but also without smoking? I don't know. And about doing crossword puzzles, because my great-grandma did crossword puzzles and stuff. You know? How can I identify a spot as mine politely? Tell me in the comment section, because I am dying to know. Also, do you like the orange? I like the orange. It's just a happy color. It really is. Um, I don't know about if it matches my um, Christmas decor. It really doesn't. But Christmas is literally... Christmas Eve is tomorrow. Christmas Day is the next day. And then we can take down the Christmas, as sad as it is. And we will have my regular all-year decor. Besides, I have a snow globe that's from the year 2000. It's a 2000 snow globe for, like, New Year's. That's pretty much the only decoration to me. out and a couple, like, winter items in the kitchen. But, yeah, do you tell me in the comment section, am I just being crazy? Do people not have their own, like, little personal spot that they sit and then they host people? Or am I just not identifying my spot? Or what? <laughs> Please tell me in the comment section. I would love to know. You know what? Don't be shy with it. Tell me if I am being crazy, okay? I can handle it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Me and the Pupcake are going to sign off. Let me get you a full view of her, okay? Because she is too cute. This is why this is my spot. Look at my Pupcake. Isn't she beautiful? Me and her are always sitting right here. Every time I'm watching a movie or something, me and this dog, and then you see the cat in the background. This is my little area with my pets. And a lot of people
people might be like, ew, you let your pets on the furniture? Yeah. I mean, how long do they honestly live? German Shepherds, average lifespan, seven years. She's already a prisoner, basically. What, our pets, what do we do? We let them in the yard? We let them in our house? We don't really let them roam. I mean, they are animals. And you might as well, because you're going to miss the days when you have dog hair on your couch once when they pass away. You're going to miss those days. Your dogs are your family. Your cats are your family. Your lizards or whatever pet you want to have and that you love and you call your baby. I mean, <laughs> I have some in my eye, sorry. But these days are going to go by fast. You're going to miss them, and they might as well get to be comfortable while they're in your home. They're your little house guest, if anything, and you want them to be comfortable. Spend as much time as you can for pets. And, yeah, at least that's just my take. There's nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. But, yes, this is my pup cake. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. You want to say bye-bye, Gypsy? Do you want to say bye-bye? Bye-bye. <gasps> I also love to do this. She's a pet. She's a pillow. She's a pillow pet. No, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> This dog. Oh, she doesn't want to be a pillow pet. What? <laughs> I love you too. Later. <laughs> I better grab my remote. Uh, bye for now.